Okay, so um, let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, a bit of a, actually a sensitive topic uh, this is, uh, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. Uh, it's been on my mind for some time. Um, Anti-intellectualism. So a resistance against being intellectual or a um, distrust in uh, in the intellectual mind, if you will. Um, I'm sure that other people would define it uh, in, in other ways, but uh, I guess you, you get a sense of what I'm meaning here. Um, now, <clears throat> I feel that anti intellectualism is a big problem in today's society well it probably has been <laughs> since the dawn of time but i see it every day every day in in the news um and it seems like it has uh, it, it's everywhere uh, and i'm going to get get back to that but um let me tell you why I am bothered by this. I'm bothered by this first and foremost on a personal level because things I'm hearing um, and things I'm sometimes reading in the comments to my videos uh, makes me think that, you know, if these people, no, oh, that, sorry, I'll, I'll go back a few seconds there. Not if this person, not these people, <laughs> <laughs> if I read a, a certain type of comment, I, I'm thinking if this person had, you know, had had any idea of what he or she is talking about, he or she would not have written that. And now, okay, so let me get to the point there. I consider myself to be an intellectual. Okay. Um, it's not a. It, it's. I think that I qualify uh, as an intellectual. Uh, why? Well, I'm a novelist. I read a lot of books. I have a. I went. I went to university for several years. Uh, I've always liked and enjoyed studying and reading and and that sort of thing. Um, and that's what you normally call an intellectual, right? So, <laughs> Roy says, a stupid comment on YouTube, how absurd. Yeah, but there's a trend, you see. There's a trend, uh, and I'll get back to that. Uh, so, when people are saying, for instance, like, going to university is useless, lots of people are saying that. Um, you think I wasted all those years in university? Like, <laughs> or do you think all university educations are useless? It is actually a very stupid uh, thing to say because, or, or right, type, should I say, because you're actually typing that in uh, on a device that would not have existed if people had had not gone to university okay so um patricia says my doctorate is a hindrance people don't want to hear anything i have to say good point good point um so for instance um now my education is in economy and business administration uh, I did not get my degree. Why? Well, I did all the exams and uh, not exams. What to call it? Um, there, it's it's like a, it's a bunch of different um, subjects, and you study them, and you have a, a test. Is that an exam, or is an exam when you go to the doctor? <laughs> we call it examen in in Norwegian. But anyway, I did all those, and uh, but I didn't. Uh, do my uh, thesis um, because at that point I got a uh, a uh, 
uh, a book deal for my first novel and I chose to go in that direction instead. So you could say, I'm no, I'm, I don't have any degree. I, and it's true. But anyway, I, I went to that, that university, got all, all the um, exams <laughs> and, and did all the subjects there. So I, I feel it, you know, I, yeah, that's my education. Um, but after that, uh, I spent many, many years studying uh, history, human history, you know, and I feel that <clears throat> uh, I know a little bit about that. Now, I don't correct people normally, but if I'm in a conversation and people are talking about something like it's a fact and how it's so important and how maybe it's in, in, in uh, impacting us today and so on. And if I know that what they're saying is not correct, like for instance, um, back in the you know uh, the Viking Age, people thought that uh, the Earth was flat. Uh, most people think that's true, you know, um, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> they knew that <laughs> it's a globe. Um, it's actually a quite a kind of new thing, um, not not like in the internet thing, but it's. Uh, I don't know exactly when they started saying the Earth is is uh, flat, but um, before they went back to saying it's round again. <laughs> but we know for a fact that um, you know um, uh, the common perception of the the world back then was that it's it's a globe, right? So you can sail around it, actually. So if people are saying something like that, and, and if I say, well, actually, you know, it's, that's a myth. Uh, that's not so popular always, you know. Among good friends, it's, it's okay. But it's normally not popular. If you know something that goes against and I'm doing this with my fingers. Common knowledge, it's not popular. It's not popular. People like to cling on to their perceptions of reality. And now I have to open the door for the dogs again. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'm really sorry about that. So, okay, hold on a few seconds. I am sorry about that. I am babysitting my mother's old dog, and he's really spoiled. Um, it makes everything difficult. Everything is difficult these days. Okay, so um, I'm back. Now, um, I'll give you an example of anti-intellectualism. In Norway right now, we it's it's like a big debate, I guess, um, or maybe not such a big debate, but there is a debate about how they're going to get more tax money out of the population. Uh, we have now a socialist government, and um, they're. The wording is very interesting. They're going to get the rich. They're going to get the rich. No, that's what they're saying. And they are throwing out statements like, and they are all idiotic and they are anti intellectual. Uh, and you can tell that these people, they've never studied economics. And, and more importantly, they've never had to create value. 
if you start up a business, you're creating value, or well, you should. Um, if you don't, then probably you won't. That business won't last, right? Uh, I'm seeing this on a daily level now. Um, so they're going to get the rich. I know. I understand that must sound wonderful in when they they are hearing it. Must sound wonderful. But it's not going to, you know, <laughs> it's it's not going to increase. It's not going to make things better, right? And we know this from uh, economic um, uh, theory, and also from experience and world history. So that's one example of anti-intellectualism. They are not interested in listening to people who actually know what they're talking about. Uh, another example is um, climate change. Oh, I'm going to uh, make a lot of people angry now, and lots of people will leave this channel forever, and that's okay. Now, I will say this. Human activity has an effect on the climate. We know this. Is it the only reason for climate change? Obviously not. So you can't really make an absolute statement there because we don't know that much. It's quite complex. And that's the key word, complex. It's extremely complex. And I see people simplifying it so, so that it will fit their already uh, established uh, perception of, of the whole thing. Uh, so they will say things that are a tiny little part of the whole picture, right? And that's a problem, and that's anti-intellectualism, especially when you attack people who are trying to be a little bit more, well, intellectual about it. Um, and I, I'm going to say something about Trump. <laughs> um, just an example, and then I will say another thing about Trump that some people will like more. Well, I saw, I saw, you know, Trump says a lot of things. You know, I don't know when when is it joking, when is it? I don't know. It's difficult to tell. Uh, but he he made a, a speech, and he, he said, "Well, it's cold. Oh, yeah, it's really chilly here." He said something like that. What what about that climate change? Huh? He said, like, it's a big joke. Um, maybe it was. Uh, but if that was his ID, I don't think it was. But if that had been his ID, that since he was cold, then climate change is not happening. It's not a real thing, or human activity has zero impact on climate change. I mean, that would have been anti intellectual. It doesn't. It, <laughs> I know lots of people here will disagree with me now, but if you go into and study that subject, uh, and I've done to the best of my abilities, and I've had to change my perception of this and change my opinion, uh, which you should do um, when you study something, uh, because if you don't know so much about it, uh, you should study it and then you probably will have to adjust your opinion and your perception. Um, now, this leads me to another subject, which is intelligence. Now, intelligence is, is one of many important personal traits. And uh, if you take an IQ test, that's an indicator of your intelligence. Now, people say, well, I have lots of emotional intelligence and so on. That's not really intelligence. Intelligence is one personal trait. It's easily defined. Um, and people are putting a lot of words in front of intelligence and saying that, well, I'm uh, yeah, emotional. Uh, I have lots of emotional intelligence, for instance. Um, but the main understanding of intelligence is that it's one thing and it's an IQ test is an indicator of that. And here's what a lot of people on the left hate. 
people like Trump, who has done what he has done, he has started up businesses, he is running businesses, he, is, he has a very complex uh, kind of work. And p most people like that high, have a high IQ. So whether you like or, or hate that guy, the truth is probably that he's quite intelligent. Um, and, and it's like, I, I know, oh, he's so stupid. People are saying he's so stupid. Well, I don't think so. Um, probably not. Uh, but um, uh, people mix likability. They mix up likability, if that's the word, with intelligence. Um, some really nasty people have been very intelligent, you know, <laughs> not saying that he's nasty. Well, well maybe <laughs> let's leave that. Uh, not the best example. So if you take, if you do an IQ test, um, in a group of people who have completed a doctorate, their IQ and I don't know. I I don't remember the number now, but I read this. I've read this a couple of three different places or something. Um, no, actually, was it a master's degree? Oh, I need to get my facts right. Either it was a master's degree or a doctorate. Doctorate. People who have done that have a higher score on IQ tests than the general population. So that means that we have an indicator that they are more intelligent than the general population. Now, why are people hating on those of us who went to university? Now, I understand that there's a lot of wokeness in universities now. Uh, and I think it's much, much worse in in the USA. I think it's like, it can't be compared um, to, for instance, my country, Norway. Um, so that might be one of the reasons. And I think people, they tend to forget that most people who go to university, well, let me say it uh, in another way. Some people go to university to study things that aren't really a thing, if you know what I mean. Um, and if you ask me, I think that should not be uh, subjects in universities. You should go to university to study something real. Now, that can be... Um, um, what? Human. <laughs> oh, um, my English. Um, sorry. Um, hu not um, human aria. Hu human. Yeah. Um, things like arts, uh, psychology, uh, all these things that have to do with uh, human beings, uh, our uh, culture, and so on and so on. Um, it could be that. It could be physics. It could be. Um, computer mechanics or something like that, you know. Um, and we need that. We need people to go to universities. We, we, we need that. Now, I find it difficult to understand how people can, how people can sit there and talk about people going to university as if they're stupid and they're wasting their time and so on and so on. I, I find it a little bit frustrating. Now, going to university or even going to, um, what's it called, college in the USA. I'm trying to, there are so many people from the USA, even at this time in the chat, even at this time of, um, of the day. Um, 
that I'm trying to translate a little bit into, you know, American. Um, uh, but going even to college, it's not for everyone. And and um, trade school, I think it's called. A trade, a, a craft um, can be the right choice for some people going the other path studying something more abstract uh, is better for other people again and uh, we're all different you know so don't talk down to people for making life choices that are are good for them you know now i would never <laughs> obviously never look down upon someone who didn't go to university that's absurd so people should not look down upon people those who went to university that's equally absurd um not one of those things it's not like one of those things are better or worse than the other it's just that we have a, we have choices we can do this or that and and uh, and we should do what's right for us you know, now I have a quote here from. Uh, I must admit, I found it on Facebook. <laughs> so, yeah. um, so you never know if it's real, but I'll read it anyway uh, because it's um, it's uh, it's a good quote, and even I, I've. Let's just assume it's it's correct. Um, uh, and here's a quote. There is a cult of ignorance in the United States, and there has always been. The strain of anti-intellectualism has been a constant thread winding its way through our political and cultural life, nurtured by the false notion that democracy means that my ignorance is just as good as your knowledge. Isaac Asimov said that in his uh, his uh, essay, uh, I think it was an essay that he called "A Cult of Ignorance." Uh, that was in Newsweek, in January nineteen eighty. Um, okay, let me get to the chat here um, now. If you really want me to, I can't, there are lots of people here. That's wonderful. But if you really want me to see your um, your, your comment, you, you can give me a super chat. Obviously, that is also a donation. Um, but that makes the comment pop up. So I'll just, I'm, in, I'm looking at the, 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 the chat now. Um, and um, I'll try to keep an eye on it. Um, so, <clears throat> okay, <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, it, it, he said that about uh, the USA. I, I would say that it also applies to other countries. Um, I, I'm seeing it as I, I said, we have this debate about taxes in Norway now. I find that debate to be very anti-intellectual. Uh, people who actually have knowledge about that topic uh, are not invited to debates. Um, so that's that's a problem. Now. I think intellectualism is about wanting to learn. Or maybe it's a, a, about curiosity. I buy more books than I read. <laughs> I do. But it's, it's uh, my guilty pleasure, if you will. And I, I have this idea that I will be um, reading them all. Um, and 
we'll see we'll see it just takes it takes a lot of time you know i will say one thing just to <laughs> i will say one thing um sadly i've seen when i've had uh, my hidden hangouts here i have seen tendencies towards anti-intellectualism coming from people with a fundamentalist christian view if i can call it that because it's it doesn't apply to all christians i think it applies to a small minority of christian people uh, now you, you you can't really just say that well it says here in the bible so therefore that's not an argument but i see that all the time now uh, it saddens me because we should do better than that um i could say well it says so here in hobo mall that's that's why it needs to be like this uh, i mean or it, it depends i mean everyone has an old book right and they can say well it says here so therefore it must be true um but that's not how it works so i find that people with very strong convictions they fall they are easy praise to anti-intellectualism um you can see it in in the um, uh, yeah, I, I, I call them. Um, I can't uh, in English. It, you would say people, the I, I, environmentalists, uh, people concerned about uh, no, what you call them. Um, people who say that they fight for the environment. But then they really don't. They, it's it's become a cult to them, right? It's become a. They have like a a, a number of statements that are carved in stone, and that's what they live by that. So that that's another form of anti-intellectualism, because they've stopped reading, they've stopped questioning, they've stopped studying. And they will just fight for their cause, um, which would have been a good thing if they actually cared about what's true and what's not true. Um, yeah, we do see it. Um, <laughs> it's a sensitive topic. We we do see the same when it comes to gender. Yeah. I, I saw one comment on, on, on that. It, uh, I'm, I mean, I, I would gladly change my opinion if I had been shown proof that I was wrong. Uh, my views on that are based on simple facts about nature. And um, I don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> Uh, but if I was shown truth, uh, shown proof of, of that I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. That we we have been wrong about this, like since forever. Then I would change my opinion. I would, I would. You know, it's not a big deal to me. It's 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 not. But I I'm I'm willing to bet good money on on the, the simplicity of that equation, if you will um yeah well um jason m smith says anyone anyone that says the science is settled is not a scientist um well i agree but also let me just say that i kind of disagree as well because on s there are certain things that we used to i'm i'm being a little bit um <laughs> 
uh, I, I, I'm, I don't disagree, but it's like if we go back in time, um, there are things that we take for granted now. We know how it is. We know it's like this. And the science is actually settled on this one thing here. Uh, but it, it wasn't if we go back like 200 years or 100 years. It was not. So uh, concerning certain things, actually the science is settled. Um, but it has that your, your theory uh, has to be uh, challenged and tested and so on and so on. That's a process. So um yeah so let's see here <clears throat> no i i i critique islam as well i it's it's just that uh, yeah I'll, let me just say a few words about that it says there in one of the um, 4D printer it says that uh, Christianity is the only religion we're allowed to critique on YouTube. Um, now I haven't, I haven't made much criticism about either of those religions, but um, uh, I, you know, it's, it's what, what what shall I say? I I don't know the rules about that. YouTube does have a set of rules actually. Um, and um, no, I, I don't think people should uh, let themselves be subject to, to a religion like Islam. I think you will have a better life if you don't. Uh, but it's not for me to decide, you know. Um, but we do have a problem if you're telling me that I have to think like you're thinking and I have to Again, you <laughs> so sounds so awkward in Norwegian. Uh, you not you guys, but this one person here over here, for instance. If this person says that I have to uh, be a Muslim or a Christian, uh, that's a problem because I won't. Um, now, <clears throat> yeah, that was a wild theory. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, I I have to actually follow the rules somewhat, or else you won't see my videos. They won't be here. <clears throat> um, but certainly, it's um, yeah. You know what? I I won't be critiqued, but as someone who doesn't have the guts to critique no let me what event now now i've actually made um i i said i'm a novelist so i <laughs> i can prove to you all that i have not been afraid of um of critiquing um islam I have done so in writing that has been published, which takes a lot more, which is a lot more, um, shall I say, um, the consequences can be much greater for that um, compared to doing it online. Um, so, yeah. Uh, voila! <laughs> no, I've never seen that one before. No, it's that's not where the word comes from. <laughs> um, my beard needs more length. Well, it's yeah, I agree. I agree. It is quite long actually, but it's um, it's uh, it's very curly. So. I know there are people who they they straighten their beard and so on. I don't I don't have time for that. So <clears throat> so 
what I would like to say before I end this live stream is that I believe it's foolish to look down upon the concept of intellectualism. I, I get it. Not everyone is interested in reading and uh, studying and uh, it's, it's not for everyone. But please don't look up, down upon people who have that interest. Um, they might find information and understanding that they can share with other people that are valuable. And I do believe that we should value people who make that effort. And uh, I've said before, we don't need the man cave. That's stupid. We don't need the man cave. Yeah, I know I have I have one, <laughs> the Viking cabin. <laughs> Uh, but um, we we don't need the man cave, but we need a study, you know. Everyone should have a study um, in their house, if possible, um, or at least somewhere where you can sit down with a book. So, um, North um, Shore Preparedness, thanks a lot for the donation. Good to see you. Um, and um, yeah, uh, Chris um, says, oh, thank you for, for that. You're saying that I've been fair with critiquing a range of religions, but the mainstream seems to single out Christianity for the worst of comments. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and when you look at the world, there is no question about it. Um, Christianity today, 2022, is a much more um, humane religion than, uh, than Islam. I mean, it, you only need to look at the world with an objective view. And I'm not saying uh, I'm. I don't have anything against people being uh, Muslim or Christian or Jews or whatever they want to be. That that's fine. That's fine. But if you look at the world, that statement I just made is true. So um, now I forgot what I was going to say um, here. But um, yeah, yeah, I. I will just mention one thing here. Uh, <laughs> uh, it has to do with that, actually. Um, we have a guy in Norway. <laughs> he's a troll. Now, he's not a troll because he really means what he's saying. And he, he recently came out in in the public eye again and uh, said that women should um, know their place in the home because it says so in the Bible. They should be governed by or ruled by the man. In, and, and you know what? I, 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 know, I know that that attitude is not... <laughs> It's an understatement what I'm saying now. It's not, it's not unique to Christi to the fundamentalist Christian people. It's not, obviously. I but I get provoked by that. <laughs> I I really get provoked by that because I hate that view of women. I yeah, I get provoked by that, you know. Um, so I reacted to it. Um, <laughs> I, I was on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook very often, but I was, and I saw that uh, the other day, and I shared that, and I said, he's a troll. He's a, yeah. But he is, he is, he's an awful man. Um, 
And then I got two comments there, and uh, they were both criticism that why um, why not say something about Islam? Well, I have. It's like people will assume that every time, but because you have one, let's say you have two guys doing something awful and horrible, and you you point your finger at one of them. It doesn't mean that you you think what the other guy is doing is okay, right? But anyway, okay. Um, Yeah, that's the, yeah. They are pushing <laughs> pushing guns buttons. <laughs> I don't like people who say that women should be uh, a servant of the man, and I don't like that because it it's no. I just don't like it. It's not it's not humane, and it's it's a it's an awful attitude to have. Um, let's see here. I'm just going up in the comments here. Um, <clears throat> okay, let me go down again. Yeah, some people are throwing some other topics in 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 here but I'll, i won't go there now and simply because i am hungry i haven't had my breakfast um yeah so the thing about having this attitude towards women like they're second grade citizens or second class citizens uh, uh it's uh, it's uh, or that they since you're a woman you should live in a certain way that is it goes against um one of my most important values which is freedom so okay yeah but i'm um, i'm going to end this live stream now i um just wanted to say a few words about intellectualism. It, it's it's a it's a good thing. Some people are intellectuals, and um, we need some people to be intellectuals as well. You know. Um, yeah, you know. So yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, Kalyan, I'll tell you one thing. Um, Norway or Scandinavia is very... Um, uh, men and women are... We were, got very early into the thing with men and women having... Being um, not equal, but... Uh, uh, having equal opportunities. Um, and... Um, and what we are seeing is that uh, when you have, when everyone can choose what they like, um, most women seem to go into, uh, not go into, but most women seem to choose spending more time with their kids than the husband does, for instance. Uh, and maybe that means that that's how we are. <laughs> that's how we're made uh, you know as human beings um that's not, that's not, that's that's not a, a far fetched assumption i think um but the key point here is that we need to have um freedom everyone needs to have freedom so yeah but okay i won't get it into that too much now it's uh, it's a different topic. Um, okay.
hope you enjoyed the live stream and uh, we'll talk later and uh, have a nice day or night or whatever it is where you are right now. Okay, bye.